Um, Diet Coke, naturally, <clears throat> is the beverage of choice. What's going on? Uh, 65,000, sorry, 6,500. I'm flattering myself. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. What is going on, everybody? So wonderful to see you all. Um, Saba. Oh, I remember you. I met you uh, in Austin, Texas. Um, hi. What's up? Um, I got my Diet Coke with me. It's not a commercial for Diet I don't know why I'm featuring it. Um, I'm also... Chewing gum. I wonder if the gum and the Diet Coke it doesn't go together, does it? All right. You know what? It's okay. We're not worried about it. Um, hey, uh, quickly, before you guys go, because I know you're probably attention spans super duper uh, slow. I, I just wanted to plug this real quick, and then we'll answer some questions. But um, this is my book. It's called We Were Dreamers, um, an immigrant superhero origin story. And, uh, and you could get it for pre-order uh, right now. Uh, from Amazon, from Barnes & Noble, from Chapters, Indigo, wherever books are sold. Um, so, so yeah, do it. Um, for me, please, I would, I would love for you to read it and I would love for you to, to pre-order the book because it's, it's so incredibly special to me. Um, that will serve as the commercial. Um, and, then, and then we can get to some like questions and stuff. And, and actually do some hanging out. Oh, no, people are leaving. This happens all the time. People tune in for, like, 10 seconds, and then they're like, oh, he's not interesting enough. He's probably too ugly. Uh, yada, 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 you know, all those things. Um, so, sorry, I can't help that. But uh, thank you for the rest of you for staying and for listening. So I appreciate that greatly. Um, audiobook version. Uh, there will be an audiobook. I've been recording it um, all week when I haven't been on set. So, um, I've been a little busy, but that's okay. Cause I'm actually having a lot of fun recording it and saying it out loud and getting really frustrated at the way that I construct sentences because it makes it really impossible to say, but you know, it's all good. Um, hi, what's, uh, you know, I think we should answer some questions. I think you should put in, um, some questions and then I'll answer them. I'll answer the most upvoted ones. <laughs> Is that a tattoo on your neck? Oh, this guy? Um, yeah, yeah, it is a tattoo on my neck. Uh, is it a real tattoo? No. No. I wish. Um, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm doing a movie. Uh, called Hello Stranger right now, and it's really great script. But part of the part of the character choice was, you know, the the hair and the uh, and the tats. I wanted to really try something different, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually really really love it. So uh, I don't know. I think I might. Uh, I think I might get some. I've always wanted tattoos, but um, you know, in this line of work, it just every single tattoo that you add. Um, some makeup artist, some poor makeup artist has to spend time in the beginning of the day covering them. Um, so it's, it's just hard. Anyway, uh, let's see, a bunch of questions I can't answer, a bunch of questions I can't answer, um, torque, please. I'm not going to do that. Tips for pursuing acting as a teen. Hey, um, Tips for pursuing acting as a teen. I love that. Um, first of all, it's great that you have the bug. I think, um, I think first of all, you should do what you can at school um, just to see if you really like it. Um, I think, you know, being a teenager, you're in a very formative time of your life. So you could think that you could be into a number of different things um, and not actually be into them or, or lose interest after a while. So 
I would say uh, definitely do that first is see what opportunities there are in your schools. Um, but then, you know, if, if you really feel this like burning passion, I would say uh, if you're, you know, still in high school and you're under the age of majority, you, you should talk to your parents about it. You should explain why you're passionate about it and see if they will help you, you know, take classes or something. And I think that's really the best place to start is to is to take classes, get some sort of an education as to what this industry actually is, and then make a decision as to whether or not you want to you want to pursue it. So, um, yeah, that's that's the kind of the best I got. And then and then kind of on top of that, I would probably, you know, if you have the spare time, I would sign up for like extra, you know, background casting agencies and, and um, stuff like that. Uh, you can be on set. um you know, relatively low stakes environment, you could kind of watch and learn that way. That's how I did it. Um, and, and yeah, hope that helps. Uh, I mean, I don't know anything. So whatever, you know, whatever works for you guys, please let me let me know. And, and if I could be of some small help, that would be great. Um, <laughs> how is your blonde hair? Did your mom scold you? Uh, yeah, my mom was not happy. Um, n neither was my dad for that matter. Um, but, uh, but I think they understood it was like something I wanted to do for this role. It was something new I personally wanted to try because I feel like I've had like the same haircut for the last like 20 years of my life. Um, so it's just great to change things up and, and, um, you know the the person that did it, um, the colorist. His name's Jeremy. Uh, was was so incredibly gentle. Um, I didn't feel a burning sensation on my scalp. It was all very very gently applied, um, and I feel really good. I've learned all about you know <laughs> how to care for colored hair, from the purple shampoo to like the live-in conditioner and all that stuff. So um, yeah, it's really uh, it's it's really a lot of fun being blonde. Um, I feel like. I can pull off like a lot of different clothing that I didn't necessarily look as good in before. I just love that it adds, it adds color. It's like the texture is, is nice. Um, I think I will eventually go back to dark hair or black hair, but, um, but this was like a really nice, this was like a really nice phase. It's like, um, you know, living out my 12 year old fantasies, but at age 32, but you know what? It's great. It's great that I have a have a job and a, and a and an occupation where I can I could do that. Um, ba -ba -ba. What are some more questions? Oh my God! Some of these things have like two hundred likes. Um, just because you know I I can't answer any questions about the MCU unfortunately. Um, so I'm not even gonna put those on. Would you come to my graduation if I sent you an invitation? <laughs> um. I'll do this one. Does the book sell internationally? Um, I feel like you can, you can see if you can get it on Amazon. I think you, if you search for it on Amazon or whatever, you know, bookstore, um, that, uh, that is in your home country, you might be able to, to get something. I know we have, we have like official publication dates and, and, um, supply chain to the U S to Canada, to the UK and Australia. Um, and then apart from that, I think it's just wherever, wherever Amazon can, can, um, can, can ship to you. But, um, let me type in the pre-order address. It's very easy. It's just hc.com, harpercollins.com. So hc.com slash, uh, we were dreamers, which I will type and I will pin so that anybody, if they want to, um, support the book, which I would be eternally grateful. They can do so by following the link. Here we go. I really appreciate you guys uh, being live with me, by the way. I realized I haven't done these in a really long time, and it's a great way to just hang out with you guys and get to know you. So thank you for spending your, um, well here it's like Saturday night, it's actually pretty late. I'm doing that thing where I should be asleep, but I don't want to because I'm, I don't know, I'm wired or whatever, but I have to be on set tomorrow um, shooting this amazing movie that I'm really excited to show uh, and share with you. But yeah, um, so, so I'll answer, I'll answer another question and then maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll,
call it from there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out again. I really, really appreciate it. Um, do a backflip. Wow. Uh, I'm not going to... No, not in my hotel room. Thank you very much. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, when you started writing, did you uh, start with general ideas or did you just start from the top? Um, so generally... When you're when you're writing like anything long form, like a novel or a screenplay or like a nonfiction book like this one, you don't just start from page one and just go. Um, you generally outline like you know if it's a novel, you would outline the characters. You would outline roughly what each chapter is. So you just have some sort of a skeletal idea of where your book is going, and so that's what that's what we did. Um, when I first signed on with, with Harper, um, uh, I had a friend of mine, Adrian, um, help me compile a, a really, really great kind of outline for the book. And he was so critical in assembling all the information um, and helping me craft that, that structure and those bones. And then from there, um, you know, I kind of went off and I wrote it. And um, that was just an insane, incredible experience. But uh, yeah, I think it, it helps to go in with a plan whenever um, you're doing anything more than just like short form. Um, but I do think sometimes if you're catching a wave of inspiration or something, you just got to write what comes to you, um, which is definitely what I did. And uh, yeah, and the result is like almost 100,000 words of just my life, um, trials and tribulations of growing up in Canada and having parents that fundamentally did not understand me. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited to share it with you. So, yeah, if you want, please um, pre-order. It would make me very, very happy. It comes out May 3rd. So um, that is yet another plug. I'm so sorry. I keep plugging this book. I am very passionate about it, though. Um, last one. Um, beyond your movies and now book, do you have another big goal? I mean, I think I have so many, you know, um, I, I definitely want to continue to do movies that, um, you know, shatter the expectations of what people like me can do, what we, who, what we are. Um, and then, you know, I think I want to, I want to eventually move into charity work and directly see if I could benefit the world. I do a lot of work with UNICEF Canada. Those of you who have followed me for a while will know that, um, you know, we, um, you know, I've, I've done a lot of fundraising with them and, and, you know, hosted events and just generally kept them, you know, in my, in my purview and, and, um, spoken about their initiatives, uh, which is really, really great because they're obviously an, a massive organization worldwide, but also just the can the Canada chapter in particular is, is one that I think, you know, deserves a, a lot of attention and UNICEF in general is the, is actually the largest global buyer for vaccines. Um, it's, it's the largest entity that purchases vaccines in the entire world and not just for COVID and I want to politicize, but not just for COVID, but for, you know, everything, um, um, that, that we vaccinate ourselves, our kids with and things that are, are pretty, pretty vital to, to living and surviving in, in, uh, the world. And, um, you know, I think, I think it's really admirable what they do. And I think it's really admirable that they, they're pushing to make sure that, you know, not only Canadians, but just children all over the world have access to uh, these vaccines. So, yeah, um, there's there's that. I mean, there's, uh, gosh, I, I want to, you know, this is kind of still in movies, but I want to produce, I want to, I want to direct, um, you know, I have all of those, all of those ambitions. And, and so I want to, you know, do music, um, so yeah, there's lots, there's lots. I think that's the life of, of an artist or whatever this is. Um, I think you, you know, you, you, I, I love creating and I, and I love the, the process and I love learning. So, um, yeah, I think I'll have lots of, lots of new goals. Um, sorry, I've been, I've been neglecting some of these comments that have just been going through. I've just been looking at the question, but, um, do you miss Chopa? Yeah, I miss Chopa a lot. I miss um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Um, pre-order pre the book. 
Uh, I really, oh, Hi. Shoot. Oh, sorry, I think I misclicked, but what's up? <laughs> um, I, I'm stunned. I don't know what to say. Uh, oh. But I'm, a, I'm an actor, and oh, cool. I, 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 I follow you, like, since, uh, you know, your show. Uh, I love that, the convenient uh, one. Uh, you did a great job. And Thank you. I'm, I'm hoping right. to see more from you. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, your fans are able to see. Uh, because uh, that's a character that I fell in love with. Because I felt just like, you know, uh, as Asian guys, Asian people, uh, family is such an important thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see more from you uh, from the uh, series. Oh, I appreciate that. Well, you know, I, I think the show is done, but I, I would love to bring more of those characters back somehow. But I really appreciate you, you watching it, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm an actor, so uh, hopefully I get to be able to uh, at least, you know, uh, see you work and be inspired, hopefully one day. And uh, I'm an actor, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be uh, coming to New York very soon, so hopefully. Well, good luck with everything, man. I, uh, I know you can do it. Just keep working hard. Keep working at it, all right? Yes. Asian. All right. <laughs> all right Thank man. you. Later. <laughs> okay. Okay, we could.